You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the third day of November 2023, and today we are having prayers for the youths. But before we continue, let's say a word of prayer. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we worship and we bless your name. Thank you for the privilege of life. Thank you for keeping, sustaining, preserving and guiding us to this very moment. We thank you for yesterday, we thank you for today, and we thank you for the great things you are set to do in our lives again. We ask, O Lord, that as we come before you today with our prayers, your ears will be inclined unto us. Father, let there be speedy answers to our prayers today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 reads, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers, in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 And our text for today is from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4 to 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 to 10 reads, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand, and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4 to 10. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again today we are having prayers for the youth. You would agree with me that the future of any group of people are the youth. Today we would be committing them into the hands of the Lord. From our text for today, we can see that even before they came forth, God already had great plans for them. So we would be trusting the Lord today that all that he has destined for them would be fulfilled in their lives. We would bow our heads now and we would be praying. Our first prayer point for today says, Father, thank you for the life of all our youths and for your unfailing love over them. Can we just appreciate the name of the Lord for giving to us those that we can refer to as our future, those that are our youths. Father, we thank you because you have given to us such beautiful heritage. There is no fear for tomorrow because you have given to us able ministers. Thank you for your unfailing love over our youths. Thank you because you have kept them from when they were in their mother's womb up till this very moment. Thank you for your unfailing love over them. Thank you for preserving them even in a generation as this. Thank you for keeping them from the evil that flies around. Our Father, we are grateful and we say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Next, we are saying, Father, please draw all our youths to you. Let them love and serve you genuinely in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we bring before you today the hearts of our youths. We ask, O oh Lord, that they will have an undying and unquenchable love and desire for you. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would fill them with the desire to serve you genuinely. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help them, that their love for you would go beyond lip service. Let their love for you, Lord, go beyond benefits. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would grant unto our youth great love for you, even greater love than that which the fathers had for the Lord. Let their hearts burn with sincere and genuine passion and desire for you. 
We ask, O oh Lord, that for as many who are not yet drawn to you, you would fill their lives with encounters until they know you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we are saying, Father, please use our youth to win their generation to you in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would use our youth today as catalysts to start revival in their generation. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would use them as shining and burning light. Let them lead and direct their generation back to you. Let them be instrumental in the return of this generation back to you in the name of Jesus. Let our youths be testimonies and examples of lives that you have touched, changed and transformed. Let their impact be undeniable upon their generation. On their account, let many come to the knowledge of Jesus. Everywhere they go, let there be positive influences, impacting and changing, transforming lives to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are saying, Father, please help all our youths live holy and do not let the devil rob them of their inheritance in you. In Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we are asking today that you would help keep our youth, help preserve them, help sustain them even in the decadence of today's world. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help them to survive and to thrive in you even amidst the much decadence in our society today. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would baptize them with the grace and the spirit of holiness. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help them to fall in love with purity, save them from self-deception, help them, O oh Lord, that they will not be robbed of their inheritance and let their walk in the fullness of all that you have proposed for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are saying, Father, please grant excellent success to all our youths and bless them mightily in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we are asking today that you would fling the doors of your blessings open concerning our youths. We ask, O Lord, that you would shower and rain your blessings upon them. We are asking, O Lord, that you would cause whatever their hands touch to prosper. We ask, O Lord, that you would help them to be led under the guidance and the leadership of the spirit of excellence. We ask, O Lord, that you would grant unto them good success. We ask that you take away from their hearts the desire for quick riches. Grant them the grace to trust your process. Please bless them mightily, O Lord, and let the least amongst our youth be a mighty man. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying next to say, Father, please destroy every agenda of the enemy to turn the hearts of Christian youths away from you in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we are praying for our youths today. We ask that you would preserve them from every evil agenda of the enemy. We are asking, O oh Lord, that you would help them that their hearts will never grow cold. We pray for our youth today. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help their gaze to be fixed on you. Let their eyes be fixed on you. Let their focus and all of their desire be upon you. We pray against every spirit of distraction, everything that causes our youth to lose their gaze and their focus. Because it is not of you, we declare today in the name of Jesus that let their efforts be thwarted. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we are saying, Father, please give our youths the grace to honor their elders so that their days can be long on earth in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we are praying for our youths today. We ask, Lord, that you grant unto them the grace to honor elders. We ask that you would help them, Lord, not to be full of themselves. We ask that you would grant them the spirit of humility. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would take away from their lives every element of pride. Whatever it is that can steal the blessings of the parents away from them, we ask, Lord, that you would take from their lives in the name of Jesus. Help them, O oh Lord, to honor elders. Help them, O oh Lord, to honor parents. Help them, O oh Lord, to acknowledge your grace upon the lives of as many as you are placing above them. Let them love and honor leaders. Let them not be rebellious. We come against the spirit of rebellion and we cast them out in the name of Jesus. Grant unto them a teachable spirit. And as they honor, we ask, O oh Lord, that you fulfill your word in their lives, that their days would be long on the earth, that our youths would live long, full and satisfied lives to your glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are saying, Father, please give our youths wisdom, 
knowledge and understanding so they can improve and not destroy what their parents will hand over to them in Jesus' name. Our Father, we are asking today for your wisdom, your divine grace, not by man's own understanding, not even by man's own experience, but by your spirit, O God. We ask that you would help our youth to be able to sustain, cultivate and to increase upon all the mantles that would be coming upon them. We ask, O Lord, that nothing that would be entrusted to them would die in their hands. We ask that you would anoint them for greater works, greater works than the fathers have done. Let them do in the name of Jesus. We declare over them that they would not be small, they would be great. Whatever strategy of the enemy which he may be employing, waiting quietly to see the destruction of the works of the fathers, we declare that let those strategies, those plans be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. We ask, O Lord, that you would walk upon our youths, mold them into vessels that would bring you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying next would say, Father, please pour out your spirit on all our youths and use them to bring about a revival in your church in Jesus' name. Our Father, we are asking today that you would baptize our youths with your fire, fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh passion, hunger and desire for you. We ask that you would cause the stirring of the hearts of our youth. Use them as instruments for your revival in our churches in the name of Jesus. We ask, O Lord, that you would pour out your spirit upon them without restraint. We ask, O Lord, that you would use our youths to set our churches on fire for you. We ask that you would baptize our youths afresh again with prayer power, with hunger and desire for the study of your word, and the heart that longs for fellowship and intimacy with you. We ask also that all of this would be contagious and let as many as come to them catch the same fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you our dear Father, in Jesus name we have prayed. Next we are saying Father, please drive away every evil spirit causing depression, drug addiction and so on, far away from all our youths in Jesus name. Our Father we are asking today that you would break the yoke of depression and cause it to be far away from our youths in the name of Jesus. We also ask, O Lord, that if there be anyone under the bondage of drug addiction, we declare their freedom and their liberation now in the name of Jesus. That stronghold is broken and they are free. We declare that every addiction is replaced by the influence of your spirit. Every spirit responsible for all of these addictions, we declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord resists you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are praying, we say, Father, please help all our youths to fulfill your will for their lives in Jesus' name. Our dear Father, we commit our youths to your hands today and we ask that you would help them today to fulfill your desire for them. We declare over them today in the name of Jesus that they would fulfill purpose. They would fulfill purpose in marriage, they would fulfill purpose in career that fulfill purpose in the divine assignments that you have called them unto in the name of Jesus. We also pray for as many who may be walking astray outside your will for them, that you would by your grace and your mercy redirect their steps back to your will for them in the name of Jesus. We declare over our youth that they would not waste time and effort in the wrong direction. Thank you our Father, in Jesus name we have prayed, Amen. Now it is time for us to bring our personal prayer points for the youths in our family, churches and neighborhood before the Lord. We would be trusting God on their behalves and praying for them as the Lord leads us and as he impresses upon our hearts. Pray for our youths today ask that the Lord would lead them in all of their endeavors, that they would never go astray. Pray against all forms of negative influences, we pray in the name of Jesus, that the Lord would cause them to be far away from them. The Lord would lead and direct their steps, even in this special season of their lives, they would not make mistakes. All the decisions they would make would be under divine guidance. I pray for all our youths today, in our families, churches and neighborhoods, that they would enjoy both merited and unmerited favor. That the Lord himself would be their rock, he would be their provider, their keeper and their sustainer. In the face of all that is happening in today's world, they would not be moved. I pray for them today in the name of Jesus that there would be a force to be reckoned with. There would be solution providers to their world and through them Jesus would be glorified. 
in jesus name we have prayed i'd like us at this point to also pray for our father and the lord the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god that the lord will continue to strengthen him the lord will continue to help him the lord will continue to grant unto him wisdom also ask the lord today to continue to grant unto him sound health that as he progresses with age he would continue to work stronger and stronger in the name of jesus thank you our dear father in jesus name we have prayed amen our glorious redeemer we thank you because you are the god that answers prayers we come before you today with our prayers we ask that your ears would be inclined unto us and you grant unto us speedy answers to these prayers in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen praise the lord we have in our bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of john chapter 5 down to chapter 6. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 22 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. Have an awesome day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.